Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. It's hot. I'm glad you like them. Very hot. <laughs> you need something sexy, something dangerous for your new line. The Ray and Al product you know, line. This should feels be... kind of dangerous, Trish, don't you think? Come on, Ray. Hmm? What kind of thing? Ray, stop it. Oh, I still like it rough, huh? Ray, stop it! Come here. Pig! Come here. Hey, hey! We couldn't make this happen, Trish, okay? You just blew the best chance of career you'll ever have. You used to like it. Dumb broad. I've had plenty of you before. Come here. Don't touch me! It isn't worth what it just cost you! pulled out right in front of me. You relax, relax, I know, or I'll write it down for you. You can let your insurance company goose her, right? Aren't there any women in Palm Beach you've missed? Well, if there are, she's not one of them, that's for sure. Come on in. Let's go, Len. So the feds are coming after your boss again, huh? Hey, just don't quit. Donald DeBelco's an honest businessman. You know that. Yeah, right, like uh, Don Corleone was in olive oil. <laughs> <laughs> well, you'll beat him again, you always do. That's what the man pays me for. Mm-hmm. Hey, why'd you come back, babe? What are you, crazy? Whoa! Oh, my God, please, no! no, no. how much cities are like people. Each has its own personality. New York is cosmopolitan, Chicago brash, San Francisco untamed. With Palm Beach, the word is style. Down here, when it comes to doing the right thing, who and what are important. But how is essential. This isn't to say that sins are taken lightly, but done with a flourish. Almost anything can be forgiven. Your dress is schwing. Yes. Then how was your date that I pulled you away from premature? It was boring with a capital B. Boring? Thank you. I thought you said this guy was in show business. Yeah, that's what my girlfriend said. He turns out he's a show business accountant. Ah. Damn it. Did you know this guy? Yeah, I had an appointment with him tomorrow. He's cut my hair for the past 10 years. I mean, I knew Ray before he married Elle and became Ray and Elle. Well, he was in the wrong place at the wrong time. This guy over here was the primary target. Leonard Elmore, mouthpiece to the mob. He had a big court date coming up next week. Yeah, the people versus Donnie Dogs to Belco. Yeah, this, this department's over for three against Donnie Dogs. Maybe one of the rival gangsters wanted to be sure he lost this time. Don, Donnie Dogs to Belco. Say that five times real fast. Shooter stands right about here. Caps them both to the silence piece. 
Hire a professional, you get a professional job. But what makes you think Elmore is our primary? I mean, Ray Villano serviced more than his client's yeah. hairstyling needs. He broke hearts all over Palm Beach. I'm sure there's just legions of jilted lovers and jealous husbands who could have done the deed. Well, call me crazy, but when a gangland figure buys it in a barbershop shooting, I jump to the conclusion that it's the mob. I mean, come on, Sam. They've been icing each other this way since the 1920s. What do you got? Pretty hot. Anybody you know? No, I'm woo, sorry to say that it's not. Hey, would you bag this for me, please? Check this out. It looks like you had a little fender bender pulling in here. Can I see a flashlight, please? We got blue Thanks. paint on the front bumper, front panel. You must have hit somebody pulling in. Yeah, and there's glass on the pavement underneath. You see it? Yeah. The car was moving when it happened. We could have ourselves an eyewitness here. No, I love your psychotic optimism, Sam. It's a fine thing. Well, thank you. Well, you're welcome. And it's a beautiful dress, too. Mm-hmm, right. And, and I've been listening uh, patiently, don't you think? When I'm done listening patiently and politely, Lance, Lorenzo, get your cheeks in here. Now, let me tell you something, chump. Well, at least he's in a good mood. Yeah. As far as I'm concerned, FBI stands for fumble, bumble, and incompetent. And let me tell you another damn thing. You stay the hell out of my homicide investigation. I love it when the local and federal law enforcement join hands for the common good. Look, I want you to do me a favor on this one. I want you to slam dunk it right up their noses. Call me up talking about how an investigation is going to proceed. I'll break their backs. And what you got? It's still early in the investigation, but our preliminary investigation suggests organized crime involvement, and the ME has a time of death around 9 p.m. The security doors were locked, so our shooter was either let in by one of the victims or he had a card key. Now, the only people that had those card keys were the salon employees or VIPs that had after-hour appointments. You ain't got squat, right? Right? Possibilities and hunches. Those I know you got. Got to be a mob hit. So the hairdresser was just an innocent bystander. I wouldn't bet my farm on it. I mean, Ray Villano had a lot of enemies, including his ex-wife and still partner, L. Now, I personally would like to run with Ray Villano as the primary. L what? L like Cher. Sting. Or Madonna. Mo Larry. <laughs> you tried to tick me off, aren't you? No. No, 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 no. You're trying to tick me off. You work the Villano angle, Lorenzo. Lance, you stay on top of the mob. That way, neither one of you out to prove that your pet little theory is the one that works. Now get out of here. And uh, by the way, if any FBI types get underfoot, step on them. All right. Club rules and vote. You take mine, I will take yours. Exactly. Now, my guy is Tony Palladino. He's a crime reporter who hit it big with a book about Palm Beach wise guys a year ago. Did you read that? No. The fascination with the mob is a guy thing. I mean, in your fantasies, you all want to be gangsters. <laughs> you talk about me being sexist. I, I never wanted to be a gangster. Elliot Ness, maybe, but a gangster, no. Now, come on, what do you got? Well, here's a list of some of the stylists that worked at Ray and L, plus the last unlisted number I had on L. I'm going to try for a sit down with Donnie Dogs. <laughs> you get to sit down with Donnie Dogs to Belco. I will buy you lunch for a week. Really? Yeah. You're on. You know, Rita, you're asking the impossible. Well, you wrote the book on Donnie Dogs. And I figured you'd know more than any FBI surveillance reports. You know, where he eats, where he socializes, the moves of his everyday life. I mean, you hung out with him for almost a year. There's a maybe, emphasis on maybe. But you can't go in straight up cop. And you got to swear to me, it's only to talk. Any bus is on your own time and ticket. I capiche, you understand? Done. There's one other condition attached. What's that? You let me buy you dinner after. Done again. Is there anything you can tell me about Donnie? Anything I should watch out for? With Donnie dogs, you better watch out for everything. Is this Chris's idea sending you in? Mm -hmm. Why? He owes me a couple of favors. Maybe he just paid me back. Thanks. I was wondering if you could help me out. 
I bet I could. You new here? I'm looking. No kidding. Uh, for L. I'm I'm looking for L. I knocked on her door, but she's not around. Do you know where she is? Her boyfriend's back in town. She's probably at his place, number three sixteen, right next to mine. Thank you. Uh, you might want to put a little sunscreen on your your. Uh... Turning pink. Maybe you'd like to help. Well, I'm a cop. I, if I get grease on my fingers, my gun might slip out of my hand. It wouldn't slip out of mine. I bet it wouldn't. Uh, bye. Bye. Are you L? Yeah, I'm Sergeant Lorenzo. I left messages for you at the salon and on your machine. I, I need to talk to you. I promise you I'll call. Now isn't a good time. No, this will only take one minute. Who the hell is that? I just go. I promise I'll call. But I can't do that, man. This is a homicide invest. JT Austin, you are amazing. You're my favorite ball player. You had three sacks in one game last night. Hey! Oh! Who the hell are you? Oh. Cop. Bummer. Gentlemen. You knew who you had, though. Yes, sir, Mr. DeBelco. That's a cute dog you got there. The pretty lady likes you, does she? Maybe she'd like to pet you. Go ahead. You don't bite. His name's Dutchie? After Dutch Schultz. She's nice, huh, Dutchie? We like her, huh? So how long are you working here, doll? Well, actually, I don't really work here. I'm a cop. That's funny. That's real cute, you know? <laughs> <laughs> She's a cop. <laughs> She's gonna arrest us, Dutchie. Put you in doggy jail. <laughs> <laughs> well, I show you my badge, but it won't really come out of my skirt. You're a kick in the tail, doll. You really are. This is a gag, right? Nope. Sergeant Lance, Palm Beach Homicide. So you guys mind if I sit down? I would really like to talk to you. What, are you sitting on your mind? Just let the lady sit down. You're the best-looking cop I ever saw. Thanks. Well, they all look like you. Maybe I don't run next time. <laughs> you want something? A little pasta, some espresso? No. You should eat something. You're a little too skinny. Actually, I would just like some conversation. I want to talk to you about Glenn Elmore. You got two minutes. See, my partner has this theory, and I'd like to run it by you. See, he thinks Elmore was killed because he's your lawyer, and he's good at keeping you out of jail. Now, maybe somebody wants to make sure you don't beat the rap this time. That's a lot of crap. Everybody knows I loved Lynn like a brother. There's nobody stupid enough to kill him. Nobody, no way. Because they'd be killed in retaliation? I'm not a violent man. But accidents do happen. Everybody knows this to be true. Did you have anything to do with Lynn Elmore's death? <laughs> That's the two-minute warning, lady. Your hand's bleeding. This was fun, but don't do it again. A joke is only funny the first time. And by the way, maybe if I find the guy that whacked Len before you do, you could stop looking. <laughs> that sounds like a threat. Accidents do happen to bad guys, don't they, Dutchie? Horrible accidents with lots of screaming and blood.
Sorry about popping you, pal. I thought you were one of them tabloid guys. They've been buzzing around here all day. I think we can get the ice on it in time to stop the swelling. Do you feel any swelling? Uh, I think it's under control. So, you and JT were here alone last night, no? JT got in from Dallas late yesterday. We have our special celebration when he gets home from away games. It's our own little sack dance, oh. sure. <laughs> you see the Dallas game? Hey, that wasn't a game, man. That was a crime scene. You guys killed him. Yes. <clears throat> oh. I'd like a list of everyone that has a salon key card. Sure, I'll put it together for you. Let me help you with that, babe. Do you know if, if Ray Volano was having problems with anyone? I mean, something serious enough that they'd want to kill him over it? Ray was a lover, not a fighter. Exactly. Well, maybe you could give me a list of all the women he was intimate with. That'd be a big help. I'd get writer's cramp. Dozens, and that's just this year. So nobody special sticks out in the field. What about somebody he might have mentioned? There were so many. There was one, a photographer. She had a real thing for Ray. They were on again, off again for a couple of months. She wouldn't let it in, and I guess it got kind of ugly. But that was nearly a year ago. All right. Do you remember her name? Trisha. Or Trish, I think. I don't remember her last name, but I think she worked for Palm Beach Style Magazine. They did a story on us, and that's how she met Ray. I got a split. I'm due downtown. Y'all about through here? Sure. We can go together. Absolutely, absolutely. So, Elle, if you think of anything else, Give me a call. Promise. Bye now. You know what you're doing to that poor guy? Yeah. yeah. I hope you didn't get the wrong idea in there, JT. I mean, I was not looking at your girlfriend. Well, I mean, I, I was looking at her, but not on purpose. I mean, I'm only human. I wasn't trying to look at, at, uh... Am I making any sense here? Ah, uh, forget it. Listen, Elle's a little bent. Uh, she likes it when guys look. I deal with it. I'm gonna peel off. I'm parked over here. Uh, so I'm sorry about the eye. Hey, it was worth it. I ever catch you sniffing around here when I'm gone, I'm gonna do the other one, give you a matching set. You might be big and strong, JT, but I bet you ain't faster than a speeding bullet. You ever swing on me again, we'll find out. Have a nice day. You take care of, uh, well, you take care. Hey, Sam. Hey, what happened to your eye? Souvenir from J.T. Austin. If he'd have been wearing his championship ring, I'd be on a slab down at Roger's Chop Shop right now. JT and L are lovers, and I do mean lovers. He's our alibi for last night. Oh, you can buy me lunch and tell me all about it, because you will be buying me lunch every day for the rest of the week. No. Tony got you into the Donnie Dogs. Yep. You know what? This godfather, he's about a taco short of a full combination plate, but uh, I don't think he had anything to do with the murders. So where are you going to take me for lunch? How about the beach? I'll give me a lead. We gotta check out down there anyway. Oh, no, not the roach coach again, Sam. I wanted to go someplace nice. Hey, when you buy, you can pick. Okay, I'm losing light. Hand on your leg. No smiles. I want this real sexy. Pop some light in there, guys. We're losing it. Okay, here we go. Ready? And jump. I need another. Excuse me, you're in my shot. Palm Beach Homicide. I'm Sergeant Lorenzo. This is my partner, Sergeant Lance. I'd like to talk to you about Ray Volano. Can this wait? I'm on a deadline here. Right. So are we. 15 minutes, everyone. I heard about it on the news. What's it got to do with me? It's the last time you saw Ray Volano. It's been ages. I guess you know we had an affair. Well, it's been over for a long time. Did you take this photograph, Ms. Donner? 
I leave the art shots to the artists. TNA pays my bills. I heard a mob lawyer was killed, too. Don't you think he was the guy they were after? Oh, this job's full of surprises. TNA, huh? Where were you last night, Miss Donna? I was at the magazine. In the darkroom until after midnight. Check it out. People saw me. I'd really like to get back to this. What kind of car do you drive? A Volvo. What color? It's red, but it's in the shop right now. I have a rental up there in the parking lot. You mind if I see a copy of the rental agreement? Not at all. How long's your car been in the shop? Almost a week. A week? Yeah. I don't mean to be rude, but I'd really like to get back to my work. Sure. Thank you. She's wobbly, Sam. Yep. Rule number one of the manual. Everybody lies, even if they don't have to. Maybe she has to. That rental agreement was dated for 8.30 this morning. Miss Donner signed the insurance waiver on the original rental, so it was simply a matter of her returning the Mustang and exchanging it for the LeBaron this morning. Here we are. All right, thank you. We'll take it from here. Okay, you're welcome. Thanks. Bingo. Check this out, Sam. Red paint smeared on the bumper and broken headlights. We get a lab match to Len Elmore's car. We got Trish Donner at the scene of the murder. What, right, Sam? Let's be good, guys. Let's give Trish Donner one more shot to tell the truth. Okay. Miss Donner, I got a couple questions I'd like to ask you. Miss Donner, let's come off the exit, Sam. Donner, now is not the time to lie. If you want to lie, you get a lawyer in here to do it for you. They're professional liars. They're good at it. Amateurs usually screw it up. I'm not lying. So your story is that you went to see Ray Villano the night of the murders purely on business. No, it's not my story. It's the truth. I broke off my affair with Ray a long time ago. When he called, he said he wanted to offer me a job, period. So you went after the salon was closed. Why not during regular business hours? He set the time. I needed the job. I'd been waiting for a break for a long time. I thought this was it. Ray and Elle was launching a major new line of salon products. The print ads would be running all over the country. It was a shot I couldn't pass up. So I went. I took my portfolio to show him the work I was doing, but he didn't give a damn about my work. So he made a pass at you and you didn't respond? No, I responded. I smacked him, and then he smacked me back. It was just like old times. So there'd been physical violence between you before? Yeah. But that was what we were all about. I was in a weird place then, into some kinky things. But I got tired of it, and Ray didn't. That's why we split up. Look, he didn't want to hire me. He just wanted to get into my jeans. I split, the guy in the maroon car hit my car, and I kept going. Back to the magazine, hmm? That's right. I was in the dark room until after 2 in the morning. Did anybody see you there? Somebody must have, at least earlier. Everyone was gone when I came out. Look, I'm telling you the truth. Check it out if you want. Oh, you bet we will, Ms. Donner. You bet we will. So how long are you going to keep me here? I spent the night in jail. You think that was fun for me? No, it probably wasn't fun. 
You're a little salty with her. What, you think she's our shooter? No way, but somebody tries to run me over with the car, I take it personally. What the hell happened to your eye? J.T. Austin happened to my eye. What was this, business of pleasure? Business, but I think that he really enjoyed it. <laughs> you wear it well. Come on. So what else you got? Well, we were going to brief Donovan, but my money says he's not going to charge her unless we get more than what we've got. We think the shooter's still out there. We're talking about the mob here, people. Donnie Dog said that nobody would have the stones to whack Lynn Elmore because of the payback. You talk to him. The mobster that no one can get next to, you talk to. And, and just, wait, wait, no, no, wait, wait a minute. This is what did you do? Walk in there and bat your eyes and flash the bag and said, hi, I'm a cop, and then sat down with him? Well, yeah. So he tells you the mob's not in it, and you bought it, right? Mm-hmm. This dude is the sultan of sleaze. He probably whacked Elmore himself. Caught him with his hands in the cookie jar. Have you thought about that? We're pushing on this, Skipper, all right? We'll get something to crack within the next day. Yeah, well, I hope so. Wait, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. Uh, does this guy really go around with a little bitty dog? He has a miniature doby named Dutch. Dutch? I petted it. <laughs> you petted it? <laughs> that's good. That's that's good. I'll tell you what, put, put in a report uh, that you petted uh, Donnie Dog's dog. I want the FBI <laughs> clowns to see that. My officers got closer to this guy this morning than they've ever gotten, okay? Would you do that for me? Yeah? You really pet him. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have an appointment? No, I'm Sergeant Lorenzo. I think I was expecting me. Oh, you're the policeman. She's not here, but she left this for you. It's a list of all the people with key cards. It's a lot of cards in circulation. It's terrible what happened. Yeah. Were you working that night? I was the last one out, and Ray locked up after me. What about Elle? I'd imagine she worked late most nights like Ray did. Not hardly. This was really Ray's business. It was his passion, his vision that made me and Elle. Elle's not here much. She just has a few clients. But they were partners. Ray and Elle just kept up appearances for the business. They were a public couple and they had to keep it that way. I thought when they divorced that he'd buy her out, but I guess the Ray and Elle name was too established. Plus, he was developing the new product line. Hmm. Wow. Expensive stuff. It was a big gamble for Ray, but it would have paid off. He was a genius. So is your next book going to be a crime story? No. <laughs> I'm through with the goombas for a while. I'm working with a hotshot football jock on his autobiography. I got a nice little advance. And dig this. They call him the hangman. Hmm. Still sounds like a crime story, huh? That sauce smells fantastic. You know, I make a good living writing, but this is my real love. You show me a man that can make a good marinara sauce, and I'll show you a happy <laughs> man. Secret. First, you got to brown the sausage, but you don't want the fire too hot. Now, Donnie Dogs, he was a real piece of work. I really appreciate you getting me in to see him. I wanted to hate the guy, I mean, knowing what he is, but there is this weird kind of warmth about him. He liked you too, Rita. He said you were a stand-up broad. And coming from him, that's a rave review. Don't ask me how I know. Mm. And what he said about Len Elmore and nobody in his business killing him, mm -hmm. you can put that in the bank. Donnie's a stone killer, most of these guys are. But he operates on his own kind of moral code. Don't take any offense, but I think that's a lot of romantic crap. No offense, but you're wrong. Don't be so quick to judge what you don't understand. Oops. If that's Chris, tell him hello for me. Can I use your phone? Yeah, hey, Lorenzo. Hi, it's me. Sam, where you been? I called your place a couple times. I'm at Tony Palladino's. He says to tell you hi. Is he making you sausage and peppers? Yeah, how'd you know? He wants to make a good impression. Look, be a pal and bring a bag of your leftovers, huh? You got it. Now, is there a point to this call, or are you just lonesome? 
Yeah. Donovan's gonna cut Trish down or loose in the morning. Well, you might as well release her. We have no reason to hold her. Yeah, well, he's got to sign the papers before they let her go, so she's gonna get free room and board on the city tonight. What a thrill for her. Look, Sam, Tony's a bud, but so are you, okay? Now, I gotta warn you. You get involved with this guy, you're looking at gaining 10, maybe 20 pounds. Hmm. I'll take my chances. I'll see you later. Bye. See ya. So, how's my friend Chris? He's great. And he says that you are a dangerous man. He's right. Give me half a chance, I'll steal your heart. Morning, Sam. Morning. Oh, you're a lifesaver. Where are the leftovers from Tony's dinner? There wasn't any. Here, enjoy it. After last night, I should eat for a week. So guess what? Our prime suspect was just released half an hour ago, and Hutch is not happy. Do you like Tony, Sam? Yeah, I like him. At first, the cooking. Then fine wine, you know, a little Sinatra. And then what? Bed. Sam? No, home to sleep alone. I mean, what else do you think after a meal like that? Lance. Hi. We were just talking about you. Hey, Tony. So you think it's for real? Really? Great. Thanks, Tony. One of Tony's guys that's close to Donnie Dog just told me there was a contract out in Trish Donner. Let's go. Miss Donner, this is Sergeant Lance. Listen to me very carefully. I have reason to believe that your life is in danger. This is crazy. I didn't do anything. Yeah, well, somebody thinks that you did. We need to get you in the car. What, are you going to arrest me again? No, we're taking you into protective custody, right? You'll be safe with us. Donnie dogs and know that the girl was released. Or for that matter, how she was she was arrested in the first place. He's got a lot of people on payroll. Word gets around, somebody picks it up, word gets back. Look, so Lee could be in the uh, department, the, the DA's office, the jail. There's no way to find out. Well, this Donnie Dogs clown just bought himself a whole box of kick ass. Nobody shoots at my officers. Now he's going down. SWAT teams is gonna have themselves a little field day, that's all. We don't need any help, he's ours. No, we're the ones that he shot at. We should get the collar. Have no problem with that. SWAT team's gonna smoke him out, and you two can do the honors. What the hell's wrong with you? You know what's better than that, Cap? I'm gonna bet and clean up for anybody. It's okay. All right, you got the shot. Just one. That's all we'll need. I want lots of backup on this. Wouldn't have it any other way. Yeah, it's all those FBI fools that want to see us blow this one. No, what, what is it with you and the FBI, Skipper? No, yeah, this is more than a professional rivalry. I mean, this is something personal, isn't it? Damn straight is personal. You know, when I was young and stupid, I wanted to be an FBI agent. Do you believe that? Hmm? They rejected me. It seems they had a dossier on me from back in my college days when I was hanging with some of my more militant brothers. The FBI had a file on you? Yeah, and don't be so sure they don't have a file on you. Now, you want dogs? You go get him. But do me a favor. Don't get yourselves killed in the interim. That could really ruin my day. Thanks, Cap. Get out of here. Ready, partner? Just waiting on you, Sam. Let's do it. See anybody you know? Yeah, freaking frack at the end of the bar. Hi, guys. Remember me? Yeah, I remember you. You remember her, Bobby? Ain't she the one you said you wanted to get naked with? Yeah, maybe we could play piggyback together, huh, babe? I don't think so. We're here to see Mr. DeBelco. Mr. DeBelco don't want to see you. You listen up. 
You know, what do they call you? I bet they call you Fats. Is that right? You're famous, Bobby. <laughs> you looking for trouble, cop? No, I ain't looking for trouble. I am trouble. And you get your fat butt up out of that stool and you go get your boss and you get him in here or I'll start looking for his ass. Don't get excited. You're nuts. You're out of your freaking mind. Breaking a mirror is seven years bad luck, Rita. You're under arrest, Donnie. For what? You're the ones who come in here tearing up my place. I ought to call the cops. Here, Dutchie. We ought to call the cops on these cops. What's this about? You get your hands on the bar. Too much caffeine? You're tense. We have the potential here for dialogue or for violence. Me, I'd rather talk. What's your beef with me? We know you put a hit out on Trish Donner. The drive-by shooter almost took us out trying to get her. First you come in here and you tear up my place and now you insult me? Let me tell you something. If I wanted her dead, she'd be dead. I speak hypothetically only, of course. Len Elmore was like a brother to me. And it would be natural for me to want to avenge his death. But you think I'd do it with some clown driving by in a car? There's no satisfaction in that kind of cowardly act. Me? I'd want her brought here so I could take my revenge with my own hands. You bought bum information. Trish Donner didn't kill anybody. If that's true, that's good news for Ms. Donner. It is true, Donnie. Why don't you just call off your dogs? Does Dutchie look dangerous, Rita? So am I under arrest or what? <clears throat> Not this time. Send me a bill for the mirror, Donnie. It's on the house. This time. We're all clear. Get base at 1024. Well, he put the contract out on her. He had much as admitted that. Yeah, but the shooter wasn't his. Now, somebody sure as hell shot at us. Somebody who wanted us to think that the mob killed Trish Donner and that it was Donnie Dog's payback for her killing his lawyer. And that somebody had to know the contract was out and that we'd know about it. Maybe we weren't the only ones that Tony Palladino shared his inside information with. Let's go find out. All right, you're ready. I'm coming. Rita, Chris, come on in. Tony. How you been? Tony, man. What happened to your eye? Ah, oh, why does everybody keep asking me that? I've been trying to learn to eat with a fork. <laughs> Tony, we gotta talk. Absolutely, no problem. You want some coffee? No. 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 <sighs> Tony, did you tell anybody else about the contract that Donnie put out on Trish Donner? Oh, no way. That kind of stuff you don't pass around. How'd you find out about the hit? Oh, come on, Chris, don't ask me for names. I can't tell you. Somebody gave you a phone call, right? Was there anybody here with you when you received it? Yeah, um, the hangman arrived earlier working on the book. J.T. Austin? Yeah. Elle's boyfriend. What is this? Is J.T. in some sort of jam? How long have you been working with him, Tony? Well, we've been working on the book about four, maybe five months. Did he ever talk to you about his relationship with Ray Villano's ex-wife, Elle? He's crazy about it. They're gonna get married. Come on, what is this? Don't ask me that, Tony. You know I can't tell you. You know, Elle knows that Len Elmore is coming into the salon late that night for a haircut. Now, she either takes both Ray and Len out herself, or she has JT do it. But either way, she knows we'll think it's a mob hit and that Ray was just an innocent bystander. Mm -hmm. And she's got Trish Donner on the back burner to offer up as prime suspect, <laughs> if we look past the obvious. I mean, it's a no-lose situation for Elle with Ray dead. She gets Ray and Elsa on. Yep. And the new product line that is going to be worth millions. Hi. Hi, Miss Lance. Change your mind about that haircut? No. Is Elle here? She's in her office. I'll let her know you're here. We'll surprise her. I didn't hear you knock. I didn't. Where's J.T. Austin? I don't know. I haven't seen him all day. He said something about going fishing. Or hunting. We'd like you to come downtown with us. We've got a couple more questions we'd like to ask you. Is this really necessary? We have been all through this. Rita, I have a business to run. Can't this wait? No, I'm afraid it can't. I think I should call my lawyer. It's a good idea. Have me meet us at the homicide division. You have no right to be doing this. Hold it, JT.
this could be painful. <laughs> trouble. You didn't return my calls for a week. Where should we go for dinner? There's not going to be any dinner, Tony. I don't understand. It felt like we had something good started for us. I thought, I don't know, maybe we, we had some kind of future together. Yeah, well, so did I. So what's the problem? Look, I knew nothing about JT and his girlfriend whacking those people. You got to believe me. Look, I am not judging you, Tony. But I live my life by certain rules that define who I am. I have lines that I will not cross, not for any reason. Because if I do, I stand a real chance of losing myself. You, you don't understand those lines. I mean, everything that you do, you can rationalize to yourself. You just keep bending the lines a little more each time. Rita, I, I don't know what you mean. You check with Donnie Dogs before you put me next to him. And he okayed it. Now, that's what made it so easy. You thought that you could get close to me. So you find out information, maybe, and feed it back to him about our investigation. Oh, come on. That's crazy. Oh, that's how he knew about Trish Donner's arrest and her release. You turned her into a moving target. Hey, I called you, right? I knew you'd get to her. You could have gotten her killed. Don't you get that? Don't you get it? Don't justify yourself. You have sold yourself to a smiling killer in a tailored suit. You're in his pocket just like his little dog. He owns you. Donnie let me get close to do the book. Closer than anybody from the outside ever gets. I thought we were friends. I liked hanging out with him, feeling like one of them. Look, I was so stupid. Read it. Just give me a chance to make it right with you. Once you sell your soul, you can't get it back. I am so sorry for you, Tony. Rita, look, maybe I'll, I'll give you a call sometimes. Maybe I could cook you dinner. Just as friends, what would that hurt? Rita! Rita! 